and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're doing a mid-range showdown. Although it's getting kind of a little bit hard <laughs> to call it mid-range, well, at least for one of these cards anyway. And we'll start with that one. It's the MSI Ventus RTX 2060 going up against the ASRock Phantom Gaming X RX 590. And I'll explain what I mean a bit more uh, about one of these cards being more mid-range than the other when we get to pricing a bit later on. But let's first start with the GPUs that they come with. So the RTX 2060 is coming with the 12 nanometer TU106 Turing GPU with 1920 CUDA cores and 30 ray tracing cores. The RX 590 is coming with the 12 nanometer Polaris 20 GPU with 2304 stream processors. Now the 2060 boosted up to 1995 megahertz out of the box and the 590 went up to 1560. So a big clock speed advantage there for the 2060. Now as far as memory goes, the 2060 is coming with 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory on a 192-bit bus at 14,000 megahertz. The 590, on the other hand, is coming with 8 gigabytes, so 2 gigabytes more, but of GDDR5 memory, which is getting old now, on a 256-bit bus at 8,000 megahertz. So we see there, memory-wise, a huge, huge advantage for the 2060 in terms of the memory type and speed. Now, to be fair, the 590 does come with 2 gigabytes more memory, but 8 gigabytes is quite a lot for a more mid-range card, as you could see with the 2070 and 2080 having 8 gigabytes, also the Vega 56 and uh, Vega 64 having 8. So, it's quite a lot, uh, but of course, more is always better. I mean, if you could decide on if you'd rather have six or eight, you'd always go for eight. But uh, in this case, you probably you would definitely say that the uh, 2060 has the uh, advantage of memory just because it's running that much newer memory, which is running much, much faster than what you get with the RX 590. Now, as far as the TDPs go, there's also a massive difference here. So the 2060 has a 160 watt TDP. Whereas the 590 is coming in with a whopping 225 watt TDP, which is actually higher than the 2070, which is at 175, and the 2080, which is at 215 watts. So that's quite a lot of power that, uh, yeah, the, the 590 definitely sucking down a lot. So let's talk about the coolers quickly. Now, if you want to see me go over all the features of these cards and the coolers in more detail, then check out the unboxing videos on my channel. But quickly, uh, both of these are two fan designs, twin fan designs. Both of them have decent alloy heat sinks there. Uh, I think both of them are good looking graphics cards. They really are. The one advantage I would say the Ezra card has is it has a proper metal backplate as opposed to the plastic one you get on the Ventus. But yeah, as far as the cards themselves go, if I hold them up for you guys here, side by side, you can really see that there's not a dramatic difference between them. You're getting, uh, the, the Ventus is a bit fatter, but a bit shorter, and, you know, more or less, they're, they're somewhat equal in their design, um, but of course, with the differing GPUs, uh, you'll see a pretty sizable difference when we get to the uh, temperatures and noise later on. But first, let's get to our benchmarks then. So of course I tested this with my personal rig, which is running the Intel i9-9900K at stock speed. So very fast CPU, the fastest CPU you can have right now. And of course I ran uh, all of my benchmarks on the highest preset or the second highest preset. So let's jump into it and see how these cards perform.
and we're back. So what do we make of the benchmarks then? Well, <laughs> it's a resounding victory for the RTX 2060. And that's to be expected, given the specifications we talked about earlier. I mean, this is a very powerful GPU, uh, and it does a very good job. As you saw from those numbers and plenty of the tests, it was doing very good, both at 1080p and at 1440p. So yeah, the RTX 2060 is a very powerful graphics card. Now, in saying that, the 590 still does a pretty good job. Uh, we'll talk about this more in the conclusion. It still does okay, but of course it does fall behind the 2060 quite a bit now. And I think a lot of that is due to the memory being a big factor, but also just the GPU itself. Uh, but again, yeah, we'll get to value a bit later on. First, let's talk about the temperatures thing, because that's important. And this one is kind of interesting. So I tested this in the Unigen Valley benchmark on the Extreme HD preset. And as you guys can see, at first glance, you'd be like, oh, well, pretty similar temperatures. But look at that fan speed difference. Wow, we. That's a big difference there. So even though on the surface, if you were only looking at the temperatures, you would say, well, there's very little difference between these two graphics cards in terms of the temp difference. But then that fan speed is a lot. So the RX 590 has a much, much more aggressive fan curve than the 2060. And yes, it will keep it at around about the same temperatures, but you pay for it in noise, which is what we'll talk about right now. So this was during that same benchmark, the Unigen Valley Extreme HD. I'll show you what the Ventus 2060 sounds like first, and then I'll show you what the 590 sounds like. So that gives you an idea on the noise difference between them. Uh, yeah, the 590 here is a pretty loud GPU, that's for sure. Uh, you can go in and obviously set different fan curves. I did this when I was testing out the 590 when I just wanted to play games and I wasn't testing it. Uh, I just went in and set a manual fan curve. Yeah, the temperatures went a bit higher, let it run right up into the 80s but it was fine, no throttling still, and uh, I could bring those fan speeds down quite a bit, so it wasn't as noisy, but its stop fan curve is very aggressive. Uh, you don't have to do that with the Ventus, with the, the 2060. Um, it's, it's just fine. Yeah, uh, very quiet, no issues here in terms of noise, uh, and the temperatures were fine as well. So yeah, out of the box, you can just leave the fan curves how they are. If you're gonna go for some crazy overclocking stuff like that, you'll probably play with it. But uh, for most people who are just going to take this out of the box, put it in their rig, and then off they go. Uh, yeah, the stock fan curves are just fine with this GPU. Which brings us then to the conclusion, and we have to bring value in. So right now on Newegg, you can pick up the Ventus RTX 2060 for 350 US dollars. The Phantom Gaming X RX 590 is 259 US dollars. Now, if you add all the average FPS numbers together, you get 56.9 FPS for the 590 and 77.7 .7 FPS for the 2060. That means for the extra $90 the 2060 will cost you, you're getting 31% more performance. In my opinion, I would say that's worth it. A lot of people were a little bit upset with the pricing on the 2060, $350 for the more entry level ones, more if you want a more fancy model. But this one's 350 And this is uh, the type I would say, these entry level ones are still very good GPUs, so it's good to go for. I would say that's worth it uh, for the majority of users out there. If you're gonna be gaming with, say, a 1080p high refresh rate monitor, or you're gonna go to one in the future, or 1440p, or something like that, or if you just want something that's gonna be, I would say, hesitate to say a little bit more future-proof as more demanding games come out in the future, then the 2060 would probably be the better buy. And if I had to pick out of these GPUs which one I would purchase, I would go for the RTX 2060. But I will say, if you are someone that has to be more money conscious, because that $90 is still a significant difference between the two, 
and you are only gaming at 1080p 60 hertz and you, you have no plans to change that in the future then the rx 590 will be just fine look at the benchmarks this got over 60 fps in almost all of them i believe and so if you were just gaming wanting 1080p 60 then this will be a very solid gpu for you still it really will be i would tell you to go in and set up manual fan curve so it's not so loud but uh yeah aside from that it will still be very very solid but for me personally i would still pick the rtx 2060 but as always that is just my opinion and i want to throw it to you guys now you know the price difference and the performance difference between the two which one would you go for this is the mid-range it's kind of like sort of a bit different now because the mid-range pricing is kind of getting higher and higher but the mid-range has always been about that good value so which one would you go for if you had to buy it with your own money would you pay the 350 us dollars and go for the ventus 2060 this one like i probably would or do you think it's just better to save that 90 dollars and go for the cheaper RX 590, which still did put up some pretty good 1080p numbers. I'd really like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, I thank you for watching this video. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll leave a link in the description down below and check that out because I post updates there uh, quite often. You always catch my videos if you follow me on Twitter. And if you subscribe to my channel, Take Showdown. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.